Good morning. It is Tuesday and it is the last day of January Yay. and that means that we're starting our snail's pace Yay. challenge tomorrow to fix up the boys room which is going to become the girls room. Today we're going to go to the store and pick up some drywall. 22 sheets of drywall. And we have to get the trailer out of the garage now and yes there are a few things on it but it shouldn't take too long though. Boys are here to help. We got the trailer out, now we're going to go hook it up to the van. We got a package in the P.O. box and it's from England. And we're going to see what's in it. It says, yep, look at it, it says, Welcome Lillian Joy. Okay. Dear Parsnips, please tell John and Peter we have some ospreys nesting nearby. My daughter is 18 in December and we will be carrying... We will be coming to New York. If we see you, we'll say hi to you. Wow. Oh, it's a hand towel. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? But do you want to go on the it's steam railway? See, it shows that looks like fun. Looks like there's a jet out right there, and then, and then it cuts back, and then a jet out right there. Let's see what's in there. Yeah. I wonder what's in there. Probably. That's for Lily's face. Babies. I have not had time to do one for her, so this is super helpful. Good, we can do that when she's in a good mood. The handprint? It's a handprint. It's, it's pink. A pink. Handprint. Charity has one. No. Charity is just holding Lillian so that mommy could eat, and she's just yeah. staring at Charity, and then she gave her a big smile. I don't know if she'll like, do it now, though. Mm. Probably not anymore. Hey. Can you smile with your eyes? Nope. <laughs> oh, a skull now. It was really cute though. We just finished lunch and we were going to go get some drywall and supplies for the bedroom, but it is snowing out and we don't want the drywall to get wet because that would kind of defeat the purpose of getting new drywall. So I think we're going to hold off at least for today until the snow goes through and all that and then we decide when when and how and why we're going to get the drywall. Miss Lillian took a very good nap today, didn't you? She actually, this is what, three days in a row she's had a good morning nap. And I'm thinking maybe she's finally getting into a better routine, at least morning nap. Afternoons and nighttime we're still working through. Uh, we are slowly getting onto a schedule. We're going to go back to normal. It's just, this is part of the adjustment period when you have a new baby. We, I am so thankful for Art being able to be home with me and to be able to help me. And we've set up our finances so he can do it. Yes, it's a little tight, but that's what we want. We want to spend time with one another. And I am just so thankful that he can stay home with us. And you know, it'll be fine when he goes back to work too. It's just everything in life has a season and this is the season where Art's home a lot with me. We're gonna get our supplies today and that was going to be our job for today. But since plans changed, we are now going to tear apart the room. It's a little scary, but uh, it's gonna be fun at the same time. And we were not going to start until February, which is about in five hours, but guess what? We're gonna jump the gun and get started. We rolled up the rug and the kids are using it as a canoe. We just have a few more odds and ends to remove out of the room. And then we'll be ready to start. It's so much fun when things are ready to change, isn't it? That's the last time maybe that mattress will ever see this room again. Yeah, maybe. This will be all soon. It will be. Daddy's going to hang up a fangy, every f a bag, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Why am I hanging this up here? Because dust won't get into other, like, other places. Right, keep mommy happy. Now we just need to move the rug and it's like 100 pounds. it is very heavy rug. Why did I make a rug so heavy? Okay, Good. here Lydia. Lydia, do you want the camera? Yeah. Okay, you can take a video of us moving the rugs. Okay, it's already on. So hold it okay. still and point okay. it at us. John, John and Peter on one side, Daddy on the other. Okay. There it goes. Here goes the rug.
Kiddos, we yeah. only have one more thing we need to do before you start tearing it apart. We need to move our maps, uh -oh. our tax ceremony maps. Oh, no. well, again, this shouldn't be too hard. We only have two tax in it so far. Uh, we, we actually have one more we have to put in there, but uh, we'll do that in our next tax ceremony. See these islands right here? I, can't, I never realized this. The islands in, uh, in James Bay are from Northwest Territories or uh, Nunavut. Right all the way down there. And they're so close to uh, Ontario and Quebec. I didn't realize that, but I do now. We are going to get an England map now that we have more England stuff. So I'm going to take these ones out of England. And England gets a special map. Well, the United Kingdom. Okay, we'll pull this out again in a month. Or hopefully I can less see, than I can see where the um, pokers were. Like right there, right there. Shows you where all the pokers are. Okay. Because we know where they are. Oh no, Daddy's taking down the flags. But we'll pick up, we'll put them back on. Yeah, we'll we'll put everything back up when we're done. Soon it will be our room. Yes, soon it will be your room. Yeah. Hopefully in less than a month. Okay, I need a flag. Hold on, flags. I do. Okay, just Lydia's right going to be there. the flag holder. The flag bearer. You gotta hold some too? You know how Daddy's doing it? He he's taking a picture with the video camera Here. and then he's and then he's um and then he's gonna zo he zoomed in because he can see where all the tacks are. Right. Means he can look on the pooter or somewhere and he can put look there and say, Oh yes, this is where this tack goes. Daddy's giving the flags to the girls. Okay, we got pictures of all these, so hopefully we can put them back where they go. Daddy. And if we mess up your tack, let us know. We'll be happy to put it, put it back in. Okay, we're getting started. You want to help Rick? Yes, yes. I'm going to let the girls help for just a little while before they go to bed. Oh, okay. that hurt. There you go. Are you enjoying ripping out the wall? Do you enjoy it? Well, that's a good thing because this will become your new house or um, well, room. I'm, I'm glad it's not going. I'm glad it's not going to be like this is room. It's going to be different. Yes, Peter's working on this, and this this isn't drywall. This is just uh, some type of thin fiberboard. This used to be the outside of the house, and. Uh, this room here was an addition. They took out the clambered sidings and this is a weatherboard that was underneath there. Here John, go ahead and pull it out. Just Yep. There you go. First piece. Lydia is taking that off. And that's just a phone jack and it's not hooked up, so don't worry about electricity. The children are working with supervision, so we are being very careful that nothing bad happens. You got it? Okay. And there's the Z brick. I'll take it down. Oh, it's like Minnesota. Look at the top. Um, it looks more like New York than Minnesota. Oh, really wait, 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 yes. Wait, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's not, but I was thinking with this top, it kind of looked like that big. A part of it looks like Minnesota. But this part, and then if you were to cut off this. Yeah. We have another state here. I think, I'm thinking uh, uh, Oklahoma. I'm thinking Idaho. Up in the Idaho, yeah, I don't think like that. I'm thinking Nevada. Nevada, yeah, that'd be this way. At least part of it. I'm thinking Idaho. Hey, that also kind of looks like Montana, slightly. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's after midnight, and I am very filthy with all the dust from the room that we tore apart. And uh, the boys are in bed. They went to bed. Uh, well, about midnight, and they helped for a long time. The girls didn't help too long. They just uh, they just wanted to be part of it, though. Uh, let me show you what it looks like now. Look at that. We got all, almost all, of the drywall down, just uh, by the window and around the light fixture. And we have a big pile of mess that we're going to have to clean up tomorrow. Not tonight. It's too late tonight. One other thing, around this window, uh, approximately right here, is a bee's nest. And we'll probably be able to see it when we pull out this drywall.
So that, that's one of the reasons we want to do this job in the winter because the bees are dormant right now 